gonna get knocked out a lot earlier than expected. Who's gonna be making it to Thursday? Absolutely, these opening starts gonna be the most important thing, right? Controlling the power weapons on the map. Make sure you get the shotgun, the stalker rifle, the rockets, whatever's needed to have the power to push through and get yourself into control. Cycle play a very passive game off the start, trying to bait those rockets. You able to use one to find the assists on the next. I really like how Complexity played a very stagnant game off start, trying to uh, almost go locked into overextending, playing for those power weapons and taking advantage of it. But somehow it's locked the ones that work for that Bravo and Charlie set up early and get first and they strike first blood, but maybe the power weapons and utility on the map is gonna be more important because complexity immediately find the kills they're looking for. Double That's a kill. double kill coming out of monster almost Triple ends kill. up getting the triple kill. Three down for a lock. They may be locked in, but right now they're locked on the black screen. It's an A B setup. Complexity putting their first points on the board. Yeah, you know, hey, Locke, they get those opening points, but those opening points, they don't really matter much in the grand scheme of things. Complexity is looking at the bigger picture, right? You give up a little bit in the beginning, but you take map control in the middle games and you start to spiral that into control. I, I really like the way that Complexity started this, but Locke being very aggressive on trying to break out towards A, moving their players out of C, not trying to fight uphill through that driveway. The cheeky 20 points that, uh, that Locked are able to accumulate are nice, but now is where they're really going to be tested. How well they can break the setup for complexity. As of right now, they've already lost the first round of Slays. So Tony two turn, waiting for the rest of his team to come off a spawn and to get in position. Slays going back and forth, but Arctic and Tony end up going down. Complexity once again watching every single angle. There is no weakness within the armor of complexity and Locked are finding out the hard way. Now we're moving in for a trip cap. Garrett. I know you love that. Here we go. Rockets up and check this out. Tusk using the smokes to give himself the cover to get away with it. And this is when the game can get dangerous. Locked are two down in a trip cap and Rockets are keeping you at bay. This is a worst case scenario for this Locked roster. And Tusk doing everything he can to stay alive. Eventually goes down, but even sneaks in the melee onto Envoy. Envoy hits the black screen. It's two down for each member. And Collect finds the third with the Bulldog. Goes Double in for the kill. challenge. Arctic doesn't stand a chance in that gunfight. Big pivotal one by Collect as somehow Complexity holding on to that AC setup this time. Locked have over overextended toward the Bravo side, but they still have not gotten a single point from off the opening break. It's 135 to nil run for complexity at the moment. Yeah, you absolutely love how complexity tree collect in this situation. They say, you're our all-star. Live on an island. Make the big plays, right? Isolated at A is able to take on the 1v2 and win it. And complexity showing how the beginning of Halo Infinite, everyone was saying, hey, you need to have BC control, BA control. It's all about B. But we've seen a, a transformation in the meta. CA is a, definitely a viable choice. And you saw complexity immediately try to set up that hold, force the spawns into red room and take control and then you can adaptate to whatever's needed when Locke tries to push out a well you get over to b you maintain bc control it's all about being fluid moving like water ensuring that you're taking advantages of the pockets of opportunity on the map turning that transitional hold into a constant rotation is complexity leaving Locke guessing at the moment and now they have to try to figure out are they going for bravo or are they going for charlie at first starts with getting the kills and cycle collect are the first one to get fragged out looks like monster gets removed from the map as well tusk doing everything he can right now staying alive putting down damage buying enough time for his team ends up taking down two and the rest of Locke fall as well right as the rockets are coming up complexity come off the spawn make their presence known and now they went over a rocket launcher because of it yeah lock need to get four up together and if you're gonna die die four at a time right lock is constantly finding themselves on a cycle because two players go down you wait five seconds and another player is going down they're never quite able to get all their numbers all up at once and that's cost them dearly now for the first opportunity we're starting to see them win the numbers game you have to not only capture b in this situation but play greedy try to get yourself in a trip cap situation 
208 to 26 lead it looks like complexity still have control but lot finally getting their first points since the opening break the zero able to take down his former teammate and cycle by the way wasn't too long ago that Jazeera was dropped off of complexity you know this matchup means so much to him but as of right now lot find himself in a big deficit arctic though big mail onto tusk Jazeera and Tony two turn end up hitting the black screen. It looks like Jazeera is going to join them. Three down for Lot, and they are running out of opportunities. And Onboard, he's going to be able to get that hill, but it doesn't mean anything in the grand scheme of things because look how fast Cycle is to punish that kill, immediately start pushing in the sea, but applying so much pressure. And all that pressure that he's applying at home means that Lot just can't expand out on the map. They're going to have to waste resources uh, cleaning out their home base before they can really make an opportunity to get themselves in a two cap situation. So they're working on Bravo right now is locked. Great damage coming in from Jazeera to free up the B side of the map. It looks like Tony Tutran able to steal away Bravo because of that. Stalker rifle and Bulldog. An excellent combination of Jazeera going right after Monster. Now searching down range for the spawners coming out of the seaside. Psycho comes in out of nowhere, taking down Jazeera. That Bulldog wasn't enough to stop Psycho from bulldozing right through over towards the tire side. Locke may have the double cap, but here come complete. Complexity. Right, if things are never over, right? Locked might be down by a significant amount in this game. Well, we're talking about streets here. So easy to get trip caps, to manipulate spawns, and to have huge runs. If you're complex, you can't rest on your laurels. You have to find the opportunity to deliver the knockout blow in game one. I mean, problem is, is it too little too late? We're seeing the run coming in from Locked, but I mean, the moment complexity get the three down that they're looking for, at that point, it seems like the game is going to be over. You're talking about a little over 10 seconds is what's needed for complexity. Meanwhile, Locked have to play, you know, we, we talk about all the time, you know, perfect Halo, but that, with the three down, Tusk going in, he's going to go down as well. So hold on. I talked about the lot that needed to play perfect Halo in order to come back in this game, but as of right now, that's another cycle of kills going in favor of Locke. Yeah, what we're seeing is Locke is just valuing their lives more, not giving up the first death. Now it seems like Complexity, the ones that are having to break in, and they're the players going down first in the kill feed. This is making a huge difference because now Locke has the numbers advantage. They're constantly finding these advantages Perfect. in the fight and able to hold off these pushes. But one player, it's Monster, staying alive towards B, is going to be able to give him that hill. And now just five seconds away from taking game one. And it looks like that's going to be it. Nobody from Locked able to fly in. Jazeera makes a last-ditch effort, though, and wins his gunfight, and now is taking Alpha at the exact same time. Somehow, Envoy finds an avenue into Bravo, which started off as a double cap in the final second for Complexity to steal this game. Turns into Lot getting a trip cap and putting Complexity onto their back foot. Envoy chasing down Cycle is going to be awarded the kill for that one as Lot get those numbers advantage. Complexity go three down. It's still technically doable. This is still possible. Yeah, but Tusk, look at this flank that he has. Easy access towards A. Lock left a lane open, and when you only need two seconds of time, this can wow. be a back-breaking play. And that is unfortunate that it ends like that, Garrett. That is unfortunate that it ends like that, but Tusk sneaks in over towards the A side. That avoids taking as much damage as possible using that pillar. Strong side and looking straight down to the ground. Nobody able to get that headshot up to Tusk. And like you said, they only needed two seconds. They found it. They take game number one. Complexity take momentum in the series. Yeah, and I mean, it just shows Locke just let the game get too out of hand in the early game. They know what the recipe is for success, and they were able to execute upon it towards the final stages of that game. But when you give up so much, right, when it's only a couple ticks for the other team to win, that's when you can't make simple mistakes. And those simple mistakes cost them leaving a lane open and having the recognition that Tusk provides for this complexity roster, fighting those weaknesses and executing upon them is where he excels sells the most on that complexity roster and it's the reason why that run is stopped short for lot we talked about complexity being that team of the tournament and, the, and it's kind of even carrying over to today you know second place during the 4k of setting the likes of optics and the g1s and some of the best teams that we have here in the hcs and 
now you're seeing not only are they able to slay with the best of them even that, that objective efficiency when you look at the stats i, I didn't do the, the math but there, it wasn't that but it wasn't that much of a kill difference if anything maybe complexity might have had two or three more kills than the opposition in lot like lot were slaying out with complexity yet somehow we see them almost double the score line of lot like honestly complexity's objective efficiency is crazy they play well beyond their years and they have a bright future ahead of them if they continue to play like this yeah, not every slay is equal, right? The slay to break into a hill isn't as valuable as a slay that establishes your dominance and, and prevents players from moving forward. And that's where complexity has the advantage. They're able to get an early double cap, an early trip cap, and then every slay is a cherry on top of the Sunday, right? When you're able to, to slay to keep control rather than slay to take back control, you're counting points up on the board. And while complexity, they're able to get 200 unanswered points by just being able to maintain control with their slaying well now the question becomes is when slaying is the only objective on the map like your only objective is to get 50 kills before your opponent or to be leading when the time hits zero the sense a lot have been able to match complexity blow for blow every single strike at least in the slays department does that carry over to game two or do complexity just get more efficient within their slaying and end up so you know maybe slaying out to hold those settles they kind of alluded to before and they still end up having the advantage here in game two yeah, Slayers open up the map, right? You don't have to have such rigid uh, roles on the team. You can you can, uh, you can, can open up lanes. You're going to have a lot more ability to move through dead space on the map because there's no objective acting as a gravitational well for players to move towards. So you can go out of your way, go through these unique routes and catch players off surprise. The thing is, is that we're playing recharge, right? So a lot of crosses are going to be established. Expect to see players in high positions watching over the middle map. Now, when you can push a player down and open up the map, that's when you're going to see your success. Well, a successful push coming out of Lot right there to start the game off. Three, one, two, two turn. Even able to grab hold of the camouflage. Collect tries to get in there before Lot end up getting set up and they get locked into their setup. And somehow collect the first one to go down, but complexity prioritized taking down the camouflage player. And it looks like they were able to do just that. Lot have the lead right now, but they end up going three down. Complexity can get valuable map control here. And putting this shock rifle in your youngest player's hand and this is where he reminds me of boo boo doo boo right because cycle does a lot of this dirty work for his team picking up assist being in the right spot right time but when he's called upon to get the shock rifle he never hesitates he's able to pick it up and most likely put it to work and and get the kills that his team needs well, it looks like that time locked were able to get that shock rifle out of the hands of Cycle. It's not stopping from Complexity from getting as aggressive as possible, even though Collect goes down. Tusk is still pushing through, and that's because he has a teammate literally right behind him. It's Tusk and Monster working a little bit of a one-two combo. It looks like Tusk is able to take down two. Does the damage for Monster to try to finish that off, but eventually Lock draw that line in the sand. Their defenses are tough. Collect coming in out of nowhere. Complexity take the lead. Well, the camouflage coming up in 30 seconds. What's important for these teams is getting control of the spawn that they want to fight from. Right now, Complexity fighting out of C-plat. That's an advantageous spot, but they also want to get A and heads up from Collect, right? Get yourself, force yourself into A. Get control of both A and C, and now you're going to force the lock spawns across the map where they don't have an opportunity to fight for the camouflage. Two members of Lot are here over toward the A side and Collect getting flanked off from across map. Those shots are going to shred the shield to Collect and eventually not having enough to work with. Almost putting one on skates, but it looks like Collect ends up going down. So do two members of Lot. You have two members that are left and Lot are getting the God spawns over toward the long haul side, which is exactly what they want. Monster runs into a 1v3. That's not the advantage he was looking for. With that, Lot want to actually make it a 4v3 and start to push up through it. And somehow, Psycho ends up with another shock rifle. I'm not sure Lot will prepare for that one. Uh, taking some unnecessary damage. It's going to be tough for him to stay alive, but 
they had everything they wanted, right? They, they were able to push locked into long haul. You saw three, four players having to push with each other to break out. Complexity had the trap, but just weren't quite able to capture all of the players at once, which is fine, right? Because you're building yourself a lead within those spawn traps. Not everything's going to go perfect every time, but every time you find one of those spawn traps and you go plus one, plus two, eventually the score is going to get to a point where you just can't come back. Another perfect kill with the shock rifle coming out of cycle slides right into the action and right to the DMs of lock chasing one away can't quite find the kill eventually missing the melee <laughs> Cycle takes down Arctic, but that got a little scary there Four kill lead for complexity as we move into the halfway point in this game lock started off dominant as of right now complexity taking the lead taking back control Look how separated locked are on the map right now, but they have the crosses to help each other. This means complexity are going to be contained towards C, and they're going to have to decide how they push out, right? Are you going to send three players towards tower? Maybe send a player underneath. Where is your point of emphasis if you are complexity? Despite the fact that complexity have a one kill advantage right now with the camouflage coming up, I'm noticing that monster at the moment. One in seven, only to be assist. If he picks it up, they're gonna end up running over a lot. Like, imagine, imagine if Monster able to add four or five kills to that, you know, and, and, and they start to take control. They start to put Lot on respawn. The moment Monster starts to catch fire is the moment complexity starts to run away with this game. Lot has to continue to, I, I guess, lock him down and, and, and make sure that he struggles in this game if they have any chance of tying things up. Yeah, and sometimes Monster's going to have an inconsistent game, but that's why you go out and you get players light, collect, and cycle. Because they can take over games by themselves. They can keep you within a game while your team is having a tough time warming up, right? They're going to be the ones that you can count on tried and true to make sure that they're the performers for your team. <laughs> collect just makes everything look so fun when he's playing Halo. Big play with Collect holding on to this camouflage has one more repulse to work with as complexity starts to advance forward through the seaside the map over towards the tower side, decimating everyone within their tracks. Tower side control is heavy right now. Cycle and Collect now working that one-two combo into the A side. Collect taking a little bit more damage than expected. Shots onto Arctic, somehow able to stay alive and look at the creativity to keep the high ground, keeping Arctic guessing the bait and switch. Gonna be too much locked in end up going three down complexity you break that setup to perfection right there absolutely running over lot and putting them right back on the dead screen yeah, Collect is a player that just tries to take advantage of everything. He wants his cake and he wants to eat it too, right? He, he is going to uh, use the movement, use the mechanics of the game to cheat out certain situations that you can't get away with it in, in, if you're an average player, right? Using that repulse to stay up high, ensuring that, hey, if they do have the pushback, I'm ready for it. I have the advantage. If they don't, well, I'm just going to grapple myself right back onto this ledge. Just 14 more kills needed here for Complexity. Cycle gets away with that shock rifle once again. Again, at this point, I'm questioning whether he spawns with it or not, because it seems like he always has it in hands. Active camouflage coming up. Collect the first one to get in position. Monster the first one to get the kill. That's going to be numbers advantage here for complexity. Com uh, com Locked were already in trouble, having to bait this camo, having to fight out for it at a disadvantage. But now the complexity get the first two kills. Now that the mid map is completely open, I don't even know if complexity are going to need this camouflage. They just got to deal with the final two members here on the C side, and then the spawners that are coming up. Complexity, they're, they're going to be up 2-1 in the series. As of right now, Locke barely looking. Killing spree. Yeah, this is just tough for Locke, right? It's the death of a thousand paper cuts. It hasn't been one main play that's made all the difference. It's just been the cycle of plays that have, have accumulated to this point where they've been put in a spawn cycle one too many times. It wasn't one huge runaway, but rather this going plus one, plus two in every engagement that eventually compounds itself. It charges interest and it becomes too much for Locke to pay off. Five more kills needed here. Another shot gonna connect here for Cycle with the shock rifle. One squad wipe away from taking down Lot, and you're seeing all of Lot being huddled up here toward the A and the gold side. It looks like Complexity just waiting for the opportunity to push. Monster ends up going down, but Collect just follows right through. Trading out lives is gonna work out for them. As I said, only three more kills needed. Collect ends up going down. Cycle's out of the action. Tusk seemingly coming out of nowhere. The Disruptor ends up taking them down. To Zero dies from natural causes. Cycle ends up going in and putting us to the 49th kill. Just one more needed. 
there it is. It looks like complexity are moving forward. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, no, oh, I'm oh, sorry. Man. My bad. My bad. <laughs> never say My never, bad. right? I'm bad. Never say never. Lock getting all these kills all of a sudden. There we go. Collect <laughs> finds the final one. And I mean, hey, shout out to the young gun, right? Cycle, the youngest player in HCS. And he's uh he's making waves already 21 and 5 in that game. And you know, sometimes it takes a win it for uh, one of your players to heat up or or whatever it is. And well, you can depend on your young gun to just heat up in the right situations this is why i say he reminds me of boo boo doo boo when you need him he's dependable he's always been there for his team he gives in what uh, he's always going to give you what you need to get yourself across the finish line going up 2-0 in this series now argyle flag going to be determinative for complexity uh really i, I think lock just need to play a better team game so far it just seems as if there's a, a couple aggro moments where players are being taken down without answers right you make sure that you're playing the, the buddy system three ones i think so effective in halo infinite if you're gonna die make sure you take someone down with you one can say that lots were having trouble fighting out of that spawn cycle oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? His name, his name is Cycle on Complexity. Yeah. You say he was, he was your oh! highlight player of the game. I oh, said Cycle I spawn Cycle. cycle. <laughs> God. Oh my God. Like, like the player. Uh, it's, I, it's crazy, oh, bro. It, Tony. It's crazy. It, it's, like, it's like I do this for a living, bro. I don't know. What? It, just, it, just, it just be coming to me, baby. I don't it's know. It's like the guy on Complexity is named Cycle. That's a 2 0 lead coming out of complexity right now. We go into another objective, which seemingly based complexity's bread and butter. They play even better in objective game types than they do in Slayer. We're going to Argyle CTF. The, the longest map in exist i swear so hard to capture uh capture a flag on this map with the with the long sidelines what's what's some of your tricks what's some of your keys to success to winning on a map like argyle <laughs> it's a pray to god that the spawns are in your favor uh it, it spawn control is going to be everything right and and sometimes again uh, argyle has some tricky spawns where you're not going to get what you want at uh being able to adapt to what uh, is needed in those spots is going to be so important but ensuring that you're you know, that you're coordinating your pushes is going to be your most successful way of getting the job done right leave this open push this lane get three kills pull it out the lane that you have blocked uh ensuring that there's no one that's overextending and putting influences on the spawns that you're trying to cause when you have maps like this spawn control is everything we're gonna find out who can control the spawns better who can open up those avenues and those lanes and take control whenever i think of argyle i think of the amazing equipment play I, whenever i play argyle i love taking advantage of that grapple the moment you get me down to one shot i'm hopping right around the base i'm zooming like spider-man from one side to another it is so tough to kill me when i have a grapple on this map and then obviously we're going to talk about you know, the active camouflage spawning towards the mid map when that comes up and you don't have a sight line on it whether you're grabbing it for yourself baiting it out and making sure your opponent doesn't get advantage of it if you lose track of active camouflage it can be dangerous those camo walks they they start to pull and then eventually you relay that flag forward a capture comes in before you know it and it's easily the hardest map to get any captures on i wouldn't be surprised if this ends up being uh, a, a 1-0 or 2-1 game with how hard it is to capture here on argyle yeah, Argyle uh, very rarely is going to come down to, to more than two captures, three captures in a game. Uh, everything is uh, everything's just hard, right? Because of how long the map is, how how uh, how far you have to traverse to get the to get these things done. Now, I will say that this has the map that has the most opportunities for some very sneaky plays, overextending, finding the weaknesses. Right? There's so much to cover on this map that oftentimes one player who has a an increased understanding of where the weaknesses are and what timings they can get away with can change a game one trusty flank can can absolutely blow open a lane well ladies and gentlemen this could be the last time we see locked here in this tournament it's complexity up 2-0 in the series going into capture the flag argyle a must win if you're a fan of locked send your energy to envoy and tony tutor and the boys for them to come out with the win because i so desperately want to see a game number five and i guess in order to get there you gotta get a game three win right here on Argyle.
I love this from Complexity. Look at Arctic Fried coming up top. They set all their BRs at the back base. Said, hey, someone's coming up that lip. We need to take advantage. They're able to get the kill right away, and it prevents the grapple for Locke to be able to get that camouflage early on. I'm not even lying. I call that play all the time in my ranked matches. Never works. I, 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 there's always one person that refuses to look. If you have a four, a three or four man BRs trained on the player going off the lift, you melt them like that, and it's almost a free kill and a free active camouflage because of it complexity. And the, with that active camouflage in the hands of collect, now just feeding information to his team repulse that player right back it looks like that sticky grenade seemingly coming out of nowhere does most of the damage actually gets the kill for him and with three down for lot we should see a pull coming in for complexity yeah Clive's giving himself a little bit of insurance right there right if my br is not going to get the job done the sticky will and with the sniper he repositions quickly and he repositions because they want to give them the elbow spawn towards sniper right they want to run it towards the pistol side uh, because of how much cover there is it's a lot easier to get the flag in from that way rather than running it through snipe monster not able to win that individual battle going up against arctic and it looks like tusk is chasing down his former teammate into zero first couple of shots are going to land but runs into a 1v2 collect loses his partner in crime there so now the numbers advantage going quickly in the favor of lot cycle the third one to go down monster coming off a of spawn wins that fight that he couldn't get the first time against arctic stopping lot from overwhelming the base here once again three down on the feed but this time in favor of complexity instead afford them and now collect just spider manning through making sure he gets that advantage towards the vent and waiting for active camouflage to come up so he can simply steal it right away yeah collect uh he, he kind of reminds me of snipe down in a certain way where if camouflage is coming up he, he's gonna be the player that's like oh man I, I pushed up a little bit too hard and got killed let me go get this grapple on my spawn and make sure that i can get the camouflage for my team he, he, he's always uh somehow finds himself at the right place <laughs> right time to ensure that he has the power weapons his team needs in his hands how is snipe down catching strays right hey, now? I'm telling you, I've seen too much yeah. Halo 3 snipe down. The man says, hey, snipers on respawn. I, hey, I'm going to respawn. That's what that's what snipe down does. Uh, Eric, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm not going to participate in this. <laughs> but you know what? He ends up getting the other camouflage, even gets, the cam uh, even gets to run across the map. So an unselfish play there as he tries to grapple it in. The first cap going towards complexity already up 2-0 in the series and the first dagger to the back of locked yeah it's all collect using that camouflage getting behind enemy lines being in unorthodox positions gives them that first pick and then by the time locked are try to react they're already too overextended on the map and it lets a complexity essentially create a sandwich uh, devouring the rest of the players uh, as they push the flag forward it's basically an ideal situation and it prevents locked even though we saw the miss gravel tech from collect it, it really locked had no opportunity to stop that flag sniper in the hands of tusk here runs right into onboard looks like him and cycle should be able to defend the control side of the map but in 24 seconds another active camouflage coming up Let's pay attention to collective. He's gonna purposely die. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna we're gonna test your your hypothesis here. Tusk with the big kill. It looks like monster chasing down one, and instead of going down on purpose, we're seeing collect immediately going for a flagpole. I don't know. I don't He's know. He's going Garrett. for a flagpole because you're you're most likely to die if you have flag. What do you mean, Tony? Oh. It's, it's, it's all there, but I mean, Tusk can play the middle map, trying to find where the players are coming from, but locked very, uh, very stationary, wanting to have that flag push forward before they try for the return, but sometimes you're gonna get punished. It's a clean tech, able to use the sliding mechanic with the grapple, gets him through that open area before anyone Snipe. can do anything, and while well, you double have your kill. young gun on the sniper, double for cycle, everything's going right, complexity, putting the second one on board. 2-0 lead about to happen here for complexity as lock end up going forward down so not only are you able to cap a fly not only are you able to keep the pressure onto lot but now you have the ability to take that mid-map control and to continue to punish lot off a of spawn force them to win these individual and these team gunfights to get you off the map so they can convert that defense into offense constant pressure is what complexity are known for and looks like that's exactly what they do and mind you i don't think locked have any idea where cycle 
who is with the sniper you know they're calling out where is he right now you're about to find out the hard way yeah, and right now it feels like complexity's playing a game of baseball and it they, they do the change up right they, they go to the plate they're not playing the same style anymore now complexity slowing everything down after a very fast paced game but sometimes when you throw a change up over the plate it gets crushed for a home run and right now locked are just swarming into position to pull out a flag Tuscan Monster getting back-to-back -back kills is gonna be a three down once again for a lot So that should mean they should be able to infiltrate that base another active camouflage coming up with snipers at the same time here Monster having three uh, excuse me four shots left in this s7 right now He's gonna use it to bait out the opponents s7 make it as hard as possible, but Tusk goes down and now monster has to change focus He has to make sure they, that lock doesn't get a hold of this camouflage monster ready for the camo oh. but uh you know hey, <laughs> it goes away <laughs> it's gonna be odd for that steals that one and a uh, monster kicking himself saying oh man i had an opportunity there but no camouflage for me locked is gonna have another opportunity to make a push happen less than six minutes on the clock here we see cycle with that s7 we see monster getting kills on the opposite side and once again lock not able to get any kind of kill advantage and the moment you go three down and, and turn this into a 4v1 battle you're just giving free real estate free time for complexity to push up and manipulate the spawns which is much easier to do on argyle than almost any other map and punish you and that looks like that's exactly what complexity are doing luckily lock come off a spawn and push complexity right back in but it's cycle that has as a sniper it's tusk that's on the opposite vent lot still have to find some way to clutch out these kills and that's really hard to do when psycho is putting you on a cycle tusk gets himself the secondary kill monster gonna follow right through and the defense will convert to offense as now complexity are pushing forward once again trapping locked within their base and yeah, notice how collect cuts through the middle he wants to get towards this other side as he pushes pressure into this base and now complexity they were pushing from the snipe side but look at how they have all transitioned and they're gonna run it through the pistol side leaving snipe side open for the spawners so the fly being run through the mid oh my gosh trying to avoid all the grenades that are coming in but that just tells me that complexity know where the pressure is coming from from lot they know they have to overextend over toward the long haul side and it is not coming yet the third flag cap is in and lot really are in trouble the same way that you're down 0-3 so far in this game you might get wiped 0-3 in the series something has to change here for lot and it has to change now yeah, I mean, complexity just taking way better advantages of the number situations when they arise. When they get that first pick, they spring into action, try to take it for a mile every single time. And, you know, hey, more often than not, when you have players like Collect and Cycle that are really heating up in this series, they're going to afford you opportunities to have, more, uh, to have a chance to pull flags home. Camouflage sniper in the hands of Envoy allowing complexity to spawn up the timing wasn't right for him to extend for a flagpole so at this point just waiting for complexity to spawn up make sure they put this pressure on but somehow monster and collector are able to uh, deal that double damage the double push over toward the snipe side takes down envoy and also the chances for any pull to happen within that push the zero tries to go in for a last ditch effort ends up going down himself and with that tusk is already in the base monsters almost there psycho has that mid map control you have two snipers in the hands of complexity this is gonna spell trouble here for locked and look at Tusk and Cycle working together now. Now they're on a timer, right? You want to open up that snipe side while the, uh, in the eight seconds that these spawners are coming up. Jazeera and Arctic have already overextended, Snipe. but uh, it looks like Collecti, yeah. he's going to be taking care of business. And I think he might be styling while he's looking for this final player as Tony. Yeah, like how, hide, how long can you hide from, uh, from this monster that is Collect? Yeah, apparently not very long because it looks like um it looks like Clef, even though not awarded the kill chases him right into a line of sight for another player to pick it up in tusk and uh that flag is still being relayed forward somehow able to stay alive taking right to the skies that's collect eventually getting himself the killing spree beautifully played and the flag is still in the hands of complexity right now locked or two down it looks like the fourth flag cap is going to be punched in and 
I don't want to say it's over, but but Garrett, it's it's pretty darn close. Yeah, I mean, it's just a sniper difference in the game, right? The impact it's had. Collect and Cyclops both had their opportunities on top of that uh, rifle, and they've used it to, to really uh, elevate their team forward, to give them opportunities. And now Cycle having his last camouflage, it's just a question of whether it's going to end in five scores or in a minute and 39 seconds. And Cycle even, even feeling confident enough to grapple right in despite having the camouflage. Normally, you want to try to conceal your presence, but... The movement just too smooth right now. Coming out of cycle and absolutely losing Locked at the moment. And while he's d dipping and dodging and drawing the attention of Locked, you see Tusk across the map with that sniper shredding across one. The BR to finish off Envoy. A little body disrespect to let him know that there's levels to this. Coming out of Tusk, you know complexity are feeling themselves. Michael's hiding, but it's a bait, and you see the rest of his team are coming to swarm and to help him. Monster pulls out this flag, and I don't think this one has much legs on it, but I don't think uh, Locked is going to be able to put four in on the board, Tony. And uh, really an impressive bounce back from Complexity. They didn't have the greatest winner's bracket. Uh, they weren't placing a, as uh, doing as well as they expected, but they do earn themselves a ticket to Thursday's competition, taking down Locked. And what I would say is a... Uh, I mean, pretty big statement game. It really wasn't close. Yeah, uh, and, and you know me, I'm, I'm a big fan of Locked. Any, any team with with Envoy and Tony Tuchard, I was already a fan of, and, and Arctic is, is an absolute star, a damage dealer, just zero, a play caller, team player. Like, Locked have the ingredients for success. They just had to find the right recipe, I guess, here with the, just 10 more seconds. 22 kills out of collect 21 out of cycle let's not ignore the big 17 kills and 14 assists out of tusk like just like grandma cookies this this complexity squad is just it's just too good yeah i mean they're 44 and 24 combined uh, just, i think it's like almost as many kills as lots got period uh those those two players just taking over the game and i think that's what makes this complexity roster so fun to watch is that adding collect to it having that superstar power but then giving him what the what i think is the best support player uh possible for uh collect and cycle who, who can pick up the slaying when needed but is gonna do his best to ensure that collect is is uh, fed the weapons and the utility needed. And then you add a player like Tusk, who I think is one of the best IGLs in the game. Um, I, I think he brings that leadership that's needed. And it feels like he's found his his ability to, to be one of those top slayers again. When his, when his team has needed him and so often, we've seen him pick up that mantle. And then, then you add the X Factor of Monster, right? It feels like Monster just has games where he can absolutely take over at any moment. And it feels like this complexity roster is finally finding their way to, to being in a conversation about a top three, a, a top four finish on land. I done told you, man. I, I've, I've watched enough anime to know what a redemption arc is, and this is collects by part of his redemption arc alongside complexity. It's all about this was this experiment with complexity to bring on collect and bringing monster back onto the team was the biggest question mark throughout roster media while everybody was changing out like one piece they changed out half their roster and clearly it worked out with a big second place in the 4k and now moving into championship thursday as they continue to add points uh to the already amazing total right now trying to make it into dream hack dallas now on the other side when you're looking at lot like I mean, let's not mince words here. You know, they, they, they in that game number one, 20 points. And then at that point, complexity went on maybe like 150 to zero run afterwards. Eventually end 250 to 143. The recharge slayer was a bit better, but still the eyeball test was leaning heavily towards complexity. And then obviously that Argyle was a dominant win for complexity. What, what do you want to see?